Petro Grigorenko or Petro Rihorovich Rihorenko or Pyotr Grigoryevich Grigorenko was a high-ranked Soviet Army commander of Ukrainian descent, one of the founders of the human rights movement in the Soviet Union, dissident and writer. He was a professor of cybernetics at the Frunze Military Academy and chairman of its cybernetics section for 16 years. He helped found the Moscow Helsinki Group and the Ukrainian Helsinki Group. Early life Petro Grigorenko was born in Borisovka village in Taurida Governorate, Russian Empire. In 1939, he graduated with honors from the Kybyshev Military Engineering Academy and the Military Academy of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Russia. He took part in the battles of Kalkin Gol against the Japanese on the Manchurian border in 1939 and in the Second World War. He commanded troops in initial battles following the 22nd of June 1941. During the war, he also commanded an infantry division in the Baltic for three years. He went on a military career and reached high ranks during World War II. After the war, being a decorated veteran, he left active career and taught at the Frunze Military Academy, reaching the rank of a major general. In 1949, Grigorenko defended his Ph.D. Thesis on the theme, features of the organization and conducts of combined defensive battle in the mountains, in 1960. He completed work on his doctoral thesis. 76 His scientific works on military science were published. Dissident activities. In 1961, Petro Grigorenko started to openly criticize what he considered the excesses of the Khrushchev regime. He maintained that the special privileges of the political elite did not comply with the principles laid down by Lenin. Grigorenko formed a dissident group, the Group for the Struggle to Revive Leninism. Soviet psychiatrists sitting as legally constituted commissions to inquire into his sanity diagnosed him at least three times, in April 1964, August 1969, and November 1969. When arrested, Grigorenko was sent to Moscow's Lubyanka prison, and from there for psychiatric examination to the Serbsky Institute where the first commission, which included Snezhnevsky and Luntz, diagnosed him as suffering from the mental disease in the form of a paranoid delusional development of his personality, accompanied by early signs of cerebral arteriosclerosis. Luntz, reporting later on this diagnosis, mentioned that the symptoms of paranoid development were an overestimation of his own personality reaching messianic proportions and reformist ideas. Grigorenko was not responsible for his actions and was thereby forcibly committed to a special psychiatric hospital. While there, the government deprived him of his pension despite the fact that, by law, a mentally sick military officer was entitled to a pension. After six months, Grigorenko was found to be in remission and was released for outpatient follow-up. He required that his pension be restored. Although he began to draw pension again, it was severely reduced. In 1968, after Grigorenko protested the Soviet invasion of Czechoslovakia, he was expelled from the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, arrested and ultimately committed to a mental hospital until 26 June 1974 after five years of detention. As Grigorenko had followers in Moscow, he was lured to the faraway Tashkent. While there, he was again arrested and examined by a psychiatric team. None of the manifestations or symptoms cited by the Luntz Commission were found there by the second examination conducted under the chairmanship of Fyodor Detengov. The diagnosis and evaluation made by the commission was that Grigorenko's criminal activity had a purposeful character. It was related to concrete events and facts. It did not reveal ever signs of illness or delusions. The psychiatrists reported that he was not mentally sick, but responsible for his actions. 
He had firm convictions which were shared by many of his colleagues and were not delusional. Having evaluated the records of his preceding hospitalization, they concluded that he had not been sick at that time either. The KGB brought Grigorenko back to Moscow and, three months later, arranged a second examination at the Serbsky Institute. Once again, these psychiatrists found that he had a paranoid development of the personality manifested by reformist ideas. The commission, which included Luntz and was chaired by Morozov, recommended that he be recommitted to a special psychiatric hospital for the socially dangerous. Eventually, after almost four years, he was transferred to a regular mental hospital. On 17 January 1971 Grigorenko was asked whether he had changed his convictions and replied that, convictions are not like gloves. One cannot easily change them. In 1971, Dr. Semen Glusman wrote a psychiatric report on Grigorenko. Glusman came to the conclusion that Grigorenko was mentally sane and had been taken to mental hospitals for political reasons. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Glusman was forced to serve seven years in labor camp and three years in Siberian exile for refusing to diagnose Grigorenko with a mental illness. Amnesty International declared Grigorenko a prisoner of conscience. Grigorenko became the key defender of Crimean Tatars deported to Soviet Central Asia. He advised the Tatar activists not to confine the protests to the USSR, but to appeal also to international organizations including the United Nations. Grigorenko was one of the first who questioned the official Soviet version of World War II history. He pointed out that just prior to the German attack on June 22, 1941, vast Soviet troops were concentrated in the area west of Bialystok, deep in occupied Poland, getting ready for a surprise offensive, which made them vulnerable to be encircled in case of surprise German attack. His ideas were later advanced by Viktor Suvorov. After publishing Abdurakman Abtorkhanov's book Stalin and the Soviet Communist Party, a study in the technology of power, Grigorenko made and distributed its copies by photographing and typewriting. In 1976, Grigorenko helped found the Moscow Helsinki Group and the Ukrainian Helsinki Group in the United States. On 20 December 1977, Grigorenko was allowed to go abroad for medical treatment. His health was ruined during forcible confinement in KGB-run mental hospitals. On 30 November 1977, Grigorenko arrived in the United States and was stripped of his Soviet citizenship. In Grigorenko's words, Leonid Brezhnev signed the decree of depriving Grigorenko of Soviet citizenship on the ground that he was undermining the prestige of the Soviet Union. In the same year, he became a U.S. citizen. Being in USA since 1977, Grigorenko took an active part in the activities of the Ukrainian Helsinki Group foreign affiliate. In 1979 in New York, Grigorenko was examined by the team of psychologists and psychiatrists including Alan A. Stone, the then president of American Psychiatric Association. The team came to the conclusion that they could find no evidence of mental disease in Grigorenko and his history consistent with mental disease in the past. The conclusion was drawn up and publicized by Walter Reich. Stone said Grigorenko's case confirms some of the accusations that psychiatry in the Soviet Union is sometimes employed as a tool of political repression. In 1981, Petro Grigorenko told about his psychiatric examinations, hospitalizations, life, and views in his memoirs V pod polymosna v stret at Tolko Chris. In 1982, the book was translated into English by Thomas P. Whitney under the title Memoirs. In 1983, he said he considered the American political economic system to be the best that mankind has found to date. In 1983, a stroke he suffered left him partially paralyzed. 
Grigorenko died on 21 February 1987 in New York City. In 1991, a commission, composed of psychiatrists from all over the Soviet Union and led by Modest Kabanov, then director of the Bekhterev Psychoneurological Institute in St. Petersburg, spent six months reviewing the Grigorenko files drew up 29 thick volumes of legal proceedings, and reversed the official diagnosis on Grigorenko in October 1991. In 1992, the official post-mortem Forensic Psychiatric Commission of Experts met at Grigorenko's homeland removed the stigma of mental patient from him in, confirmed that the debilitating treatment he underwent in high-security psychiatric hospitals for many years was groundless. The 1992 psychiatric examination of Grigorenko was described by the Nezavasimi Psychiatrischewski Journal in its numbers chapters 1-4 of 1992. Petro Grigorenko was married to Zinaida Mikhailovna Grigorenko and had five sons Anatoly, Georgi, Oleg, Victor and Andrew. Two of them died while being children. Andrew, an electrical engineer, was declared a hereditary madman in 1975 and was expelled from the USSR to the USA where he lives now. Andrew was repeatedly told that since his father was mentally ill, then he was hereditarily mentally ill as well, and if he would not stop his appearances in defense of human rights and his father, he was told to go to Psykushka. Name Spelling Versions the different Latin speakings of Grigorenko's name exist due to the lack of uniform transliteration rules for the Ukrainian names in the middle of 20th century, when he became internationally known. The correct modern transliteration would be Petro Rihorenko. However, according to the American identification documents of the late general, the official speaking of his name was established as Petro Grigorenko. The same spelling is engraved on his gravestone at the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of St. Andrew in Southbound Brook, New Jersey, USA. The same spelling is also retained by his surviving American descendants son Andrew, and granddaughters Tatiana and Olga, honors and awards, Soviet Union Ukraine books, interviews, letters, Grigorenko, P-Y-O-T-R, on special psychiatric hospitals, in Gorbanevskaya, Natalia. 25 1968 noon the case on the demonstration of the 25th of august 1968 at the red square frankfurt on main seeding pp 461 to 473 grigorenko pyotr diary survey 181 to 187 the concealment of the historical truth is a crime before people. A letter to the editorial staff of the journal The Issues Related to the History of the CPSU. Thoughts of a Madman. Collected letters and appearances by Pyotr Grigorievich Grigorenko. Grigorenko, Petr. The Grigorenko Papers. Writings by General P.G. Grigorenko and documents on his case. Colorado, Westview Press. ISBN 0-89158-603-2. The Collection of Articles. Our Weekdays or a story about how criminal cases are fabricated on Soviet citizens who advocate human rights. 1978. As regards Heli Snejarev's Repentance. Continent. Interview with Pyotr Grigorievich Grigorenko. Continent. 2013. 1978. Grigorenko. Petro. Nahilo. Bodan. My friend Michael Larudenko. Index on Censorship 8. 33-40. DOI. 10.1080-0306422790800. Nineteen eighty towards state independence and mutual relations between peoples of the USSR continent. Cambio sixteen Spanish magazine interviews Gen. Petro Grigorenko, the Ukrainian Weekly, LXXXVII, the twenty eighth of September nineteen eighty, p two 
In underground one can meet only rats. Grigorenko, Petter. Memoirs. New York. Norton. ISBN 0 to 393 x Grigorenko, Petro. Diplomatic Delusions. A leading Soviet dissident unmasks the hypocrisy of Helsinki. Reason. 39 to 41. Letters by P. G. Grigorenko from the Chernyakovsk Special Psychiatric Hospital. 2010.